Hello, everyone. Here we go. We're going to do five minutes of chatting about tips you can use to pick a ball. So here we go. A stopwatch. Let's go, Keith. What do you look for when you're picking a ball first? First thing I'm looking for is the colour. How, how dark is that red ball? Um, I always feel the darker the ball, the more there is going to be movement in the air. That's the first thing I look for. What about you? Um, I, you know what I like to do is I like to feel all the balls in the box. And once, like you've said, I found something that's dark, I want to check that it feels small. Um, I want it to feel like a little bullet in my hand rather than a big orange or something like that. So nice and small, tight fit. Yep. Um, I would then say I would do the exact same. I think we've, we've both gone and picked balls and we've been <laughs> yeah. holding the ball in our hands and trying to see what feels right. Next would be the size of the seam. Um, you never want a seam like these kookaburras where they're literally running alongside the actual surface of the leather. You want them to be presented a little bit thicker, quite wide and quite hard. So you know you're going to get a bit of uh, extra movement off the wicket with it. Mm, yeah, you want it to sit kind of nicely, don't you, in those, in those fingers. Yeah. Um, interestingly, I've heard that you want it to be proud, but not overly proud. Um, because sometimes it can get softer quicker. That's a bit of a bit of an old story. Um, but anyway, once like you, there I've looked at the seam. I like to just check the check both sides of the ball and see if the paint is yeah is messy or if it's you yeah. know what I mean. If there's any marks on the yeah. sides, I don't want that. Yeah, it's um, got to look. The ball has to look good. It has to look like it wants to be chosen. If you know what I mean, it's, it can't be like you said. It, even if the printing looks a little bit kind of shimmery or just not right, I'm, I'm more than likely going to put that ball back and look for something that presents itself beautifully. Um, so that is another thing. Um, I tell you what I do when we're picking a ball. I do like to speak to the umpires because one thing is a lot of umpires are ex-bowlers. Mm. And if you kind of just get their advice on a ball, you're kind of winning them over a little bit. You might get the odd <laughs> decision your way. <laughs> yes. Not mentioning any names, um, there are one or two umpires who will pick balls. Yeah. And you'll walk in there and they'll say, oh, I picked a couple for you. Have a look. Yeah. And it's almost like they then want to help you out and give decisions because it makes their decision on the ball look good. Uh, yes. Totally agree. Uh, yeah. Exactly what you're saying. You know what? I will. I, there, there are certain umpires and, yeah, ex-bowlers and stuff. So they might have like two or three. And I'll check them all, but I will always make sure I pick one of the three balls that they've picked most likely, if it's obvious. Um, I'm trying to think what else there is, mate. Um, they So the Dukes this year, um, and probably other brands too, they stamp the ball um, with the year on. Yes. And you don't want that, ideally, on the side that you're going to be using as your smooth, good side for swing, because it's, it's an indent on the ball. You want that on the rough side. That's um, true. Something that they didn't do. This year, or last year, actually, they were stamping on the on the good side. It was really frustrating. Um, I like to check that when you flip it up, yeah, the ball tracks nicely on its axis and the seam stays in nice in a nice yeah. alignment. Um, yeah, here's another one I, I will do. Not that I bowl this way, but I do like to split my finger down the seam, and I feel like I, I get a nice grip if it's a good ball. Some balls mm. are a little bit chunky or a little bit weird and it's like nah that's not for me either mm, 100 okay and i think we're, well, we're doing well for time here um when you're looking at white balls or kookaburra balls ultimately i think you should try and pick a kookaburra ball that feels more like a duke and it feels more oval so you you will get a variation in the ball some will feel more oval some will feel mm. more round pick a ball that is more oval shaped um and again this shouldn't happen but it does you will get white balls that are more creamy coloured. Yes. And you want to pick a creamier white ball than yeah. a bright white white ball. Um, that's very true. Else? No, that's it. I don't know what else, why that is about why that the creamy ones <laughs> do seem to do a bit more. But, yeah, yeah. that's uh, something to watch out for. I think I think that's everything. I, think, I can't think of anything else. That's it. Two, there you go. One, done. Yeah. How about that? Look, and we've still got uh, on my clock four minutes, uh, 15 seconds. So we hope that was super valuable. Any questions, comment on the video and reply. Take it easy.